Well, Jim, let's uh, get another question here on the show. I don't know how to ask you this one, because I don't know if you've seen any of the photos. If not, I could try to get you one quickly. But several people have sent in questions today, and yesterday actually as well, and the day before. about And the day before that. Well, for instance, this one, the sent the corny drive through at gmail.com from Patrick. The subject is wrestlers snubbing fans paying for photos. What do you think about wrestlers charging $100 for photos with fans and not getting anywhere near them? Sasha Banks has a well-documented history of negative interactions with fans in her time off, excuse me, in her off time, but taking their money for a bad photo is ridiculous, in my opinion. The venue did not state as such on their website either, and the other one I saw was someone on Twitter using uh, the hashtag Quinny drive through from John. Can we get Jim's thoughts on this? And it's the copy of someone, their face is blurred out, I don't know, three feet apart, two people apart from Sasha and Naomi. And it says the cost was $130 for the duo pick. While I was happy to be in the room with them, the distance thing was a shock and not the experience I was expecting. I saw the pics of them hugging women. I did not need to touch them, but standing next to them would have been nice. Okay, so wait a so the bone of contention is not the quality of the photo, it's the fact that they were standing away from the people getting the, the photo op, right? And I have to say, I'm looking at these photos, and it's ridiculous! Is, is it a ridiculous amount of distance? It's rid- <laughs> it, it looks like you didn't pay for it, you just walked in on someone else's photo. Well, <laughs> let me let me yeah. send you uh, let me send you one of these real quick so you can actually take a look at it as we're talking about it, just because I want to make sure you could uh, all right understand this. I'm sending this right now to your very secret bat phone. I got the Express VPN, so um, oh shit, I didn't know I was I didn't know I was going to hear from that guy. Oh, go ahead. Um, well, I sent you what? this email here. But and I'll I'll wait for it here to pop up in a in a moment. But first of all, and there it is. Um, hold on, let me let me just take a peek at this thing here. What in the what the fuck? <laughs> that no, it's really it's a full human being's length, and it's like two people are just standing on a sidewalk, uh, not knowing each other. The other one, the first one you see is not as bad as the other ones in here. Oh, good. And well, then there's a guy. But now Sasha and Naomi are right next to each other. No, and here's the thing. Somebody's going to say, ah, Cornette, fuck you. COVID, you know, you're a big COVID. Well, here's the deal. It's just like a low-fat Twinkie. If you can't eat the fat, don't eat the fucking Twinkie. If you can't take the photo op, don't do the photo op. I'm not going to be putting, and that's the reason I've turned down tons of fan fests and things that I've been asked to do the past couple of years because it took all the fun out of it, hugging people or shaking hands or taking goofy pictures and having fun to know that everybody's potentially contagious. So if that's the case, if you can't Some people don't mind. Some people didn't believe in COVID. Some people are vaccinated. Some people have different tolerance and risk and et cetera. But if you're not going to stand there and at least shake, I'm not talking about goddamn, you know, lip locking like anteaters. But if you can't stand next to the person, then don't do photo ops and don't be paid to do photo ops. That's, that's my, and a hundred dollars or whatever the fuck for a picture yeah, I guess are these these don't look like phone pictures because I know there's some places that do the high def professional photographer and you get a print of it, right? I can see charging something for that. And I've been talked into over the last several years charging money for pictures with people's cell phones. Cuz at first I've mentioned I thought it was fucking ridiculous and insane and greedy for a celebrity to charge money for a fan to take a picture of that self-same celebrity with the fan's own phone, right? Look at this poor guy with the belt. He brought his belt. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And he's feet away from her. (laughs) 
and he's so far away, so far away. Doesn't anybody stay in one place anymore for a photo op? It would be so fine to see your face near my photo op. But you're so far away. But anyway, so yes, if you're going to charge for a photo op and you're going to advertise you're doing photo ops, I think you have to actually be next to the person or just don't do them, which is fine. I don't think that Sasha or Naomi, either one, are going to be on welfare and food stamps next week. They seem to have been doing fine so far, but $100 for a picture to begin with, did you say even more in some cases? I think it said 130 for the two of them together. Well, isn't that mighty nice of them? Give you a break like that. I need an autograph, a picture. No, don't say anything else. You could stop right there. Wherever well, depending on who it is, if if it was if it was Heyman, if it was Heyman, I'd stop there. If it was somebody else, <laughs> I might need a hand job. I don't know. But but no, that's that. But let me, let me here ask. I'm thinking: if you are successful enough in life that you not only feel good about charging somebody a hundred dollars just to take a picture with you, but they're willing to pay it, that means that you don't need the money, and you ought to be doing something more for charity. Let's first of all clarify, she's not charging the money. The convention's charging the money to recoup back whatever they're paying her. And there was a rumor going around, and I don't know this is what she got, but the rumor going around was she was asking for $30,000. Yeah, well, this is C2E2, yeah. Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo, so I can believe that figure because this is a major show. I'm not saying she's worth it. I'm saying that they might have paid it. I can believe that. But again... It's her, it's, it's her face. If I tell some promoter, okay, I'll show up for 40 grand and the promoter says, okay. And then the promoter has to charge $250 for pictures to make it worth their time and effort to do this. I'm still the one standing up there getting a picture taken with these people that are forking out $250. That means it's on me. And that means that all those people got a picture and said, boy, that stingy son of a bitch, not like he hadn't got enough money, he's got to take my 250 fucking dollars for a fucking picture. I can see 25 30 40 dollars in that price range, comes with an autograph, or depending on what the process is, do we have to print the picture here? Is it with your phone? Whatever. But seriously, and fucking Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't know that I would ever pay that, but I know goddamn sure I'd never ask anybody to pay it. It's ridiculous. People got to pay fucking rent. You can make money without gouging people and or, you know, making them feel like that they're, they should be happy to hand you all that money. Back to the nature of the actual photographs. You know, we have seen some photos, nothing recent, although I'm sure it probably happens, but over the last several years of I, the Becky Lynch one is the one that's stuck in my mind. What look like really uncomfortable fan encounters where a fan pays for a photo, gets up there, and I don't know if he just decides to give her a big hug without her knowing it at the end, <laughs> but some really uncomfortable photos. I could understand there being an issue there. Is there something you could do there if the women feel that if she's getting close to the women but distant from the men? You have to think maybe it's a security issue because of some of these. No, I'm sitting here looking at one of these pictures. This the, the, is with a girl, and she's six feet away. The girl's given a four horseman sign. I don't know what that has to do with Sasha. Uh, but no, it's another female. Now, I've been on the receiving end of some people with overproductive sweat glands that want to hug you or shake hands with you or be close to you at these conventions, which oftentimes temperature's off the chart anyway. But that's part of it. They're they're happier to see you than you are to see them, but they're also paying you to be there. So one way or another, the fan's paying for it in the end, whether a promoter's the middleman or not. So you do the best you can, and as long as they're nice and respectful and not wise asses, then you need to do the same thing. And I hear all the time from people, well, so-and-so didn't even look up at me, just signed my picture and handed it up to me, or so-and-so was on his phone, or so-and-so just sat there like a bump on a log. Well, then don't go do the fucking deal. If you don't want to be there and do the things that you need to do to hold up your end of the fucking bargain, which is being 
personable to the fans and hopefully giving everybody five minutes of a kick for their day. Lex Luger never did this. But he does now. But he does now. Well, no, he now he'll take a photo with you. He never stood yeah. five feet away from you. Oh, I thought you meant Lex Luger was never nice to people, <laughs> but he is now. <laughs> That's right. But, Jim. Hey, yeah, these people, for that much money to get that kind of product, there's some kind of bait and switch going on here. A photo op doesn't mean you get to stand in the same room with somebody and take a picture and see if you got a wide angle lens. If I were some of these people, I might look for legal representation. I was about to say, but I don't know who you would sue, whether it would be the star or whether it would be the convention or perhaps the fan that smells that's online next to you. So basically, you don't know who to sue. You're not sure which side should be the suer and which side should be the sue No, that's not but true. If, I know who should if, be the sue Well, if you find a fan that smells like a sewer and you want to holler sue I know exactly who you need to call. Steven P. News. If you need to sue. An outlaw mud show or two. Those are the rest. And folks, I'll tell you what. Whether you smell like a sewer... Whether you couldn't say suey if the hogs had you, or whether you want to sue somebody in an open court of law to get even, the man to call is the man, the myth, the legend, Stephen P. New at newlawoffice.com, 888-692-8084. I'll have you know that, you know, a lot of these fans, they're fine people, but sometimes imposters can come in, you know, not really a devoted wrestling fan, just wanting to buddy up to all these stars these big time wrestlers and get their autograph and their pictures so they can go out and sell them and make a profit those are kind of people who live in sewers they live their whole lives in sewers they're dirty people they live in the sewer and then they die in the sewer they commit suicide but i'll tell you right oh, now this folks is terrible i'll tell you right that's right it's terrible to be six feet away from someone in a photo op but i'll tell you whether you got shystered on a photo op or whether you have been victimized by one of the greedy corporations that exists in this current United States of America, or whether you've been wrongfully terminated, whether you've been injured by someone's negligence or malfeasance, any of those things or so many more that apply to you, members of your family, or your immediate social circle, look no further than the amazing Stephen P. New, because now I'll have you know that not only is Stephen P. New the, the toast of West Virginia. I mean, boy, when you get to be the most popular person in West Virginia, boy, howdy, that's some news. But the new law office, Stephen and their minions, his little teeny tiny law firm is now handling cases in Louisiana, West Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, Maryland, Illinois, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Louisiana again, unless that's L.A., Los Angeles. And they are coming soon to Tennessee, New York, and Texas. And a lot of that is because of the, the uh, malfeasances and misappropriations of Intergy, that energy company down in Louisiana and parts of Texas and I think uh, Oklahoma, that, you know, you've, we've heard about these Southwestern energy companies because they're all right-wing crackpots down there and they just leave the people to freeze in the winter or burn in the summer. And Intergy was a vic a, a, a guilty, I should say, or at least we believe they are. That's what Stephen P. News is going to determine. Uh, guilty of shortchanging people and fucking people around during Hurricane Ida in 2019 and Stephen P. New is going down to Louisiana to sort that out. And the opioid crisis and those suits involved are going on the road to a variety of states because, as we mentioned, not only did they get judgments for the big pharmaceutical companies hooking people on the opioids, but now they have tried to bankrupt themselves so they don't have to pay the judgments but the eagle-eyed attorneys like Stephen P. New have got an eye on them, and they're on that case as well. So, 
888-692-8084 is again the number to call the, the testimonies from thousands, literally thousands by this point, if not millions, probably not literally millions, of Cult of Cornet listeners have availed themselves of the services of newlawoffice.com, and you can too. As a matter of fact, if I were you people, I'd go out there and try to find somebody to fuck me around just so I could sue them or just stand in the middle of the street and let a fucking bread truck run you down. You'll own the entire bunny bread factory after Stephen P. New gets finished with him or your family will, one or the other. Newlawoffice.com. That's right. We hope you will be alive and I would not suggest you run after a bunny bread truck. No, I said stand in front of the truck and let the truck run you over, not yeah. running after it. I wouldn't suggest then that if, either. if it hits the brakes, then you're going to fucking smash your face. 